Here we are again, man. 3-1. The Braves beat the Dodgers in game four tonight at Dodger Stadium. And it was an absolute beatdown. A 9-2 final at Dodger Stadium tonight. And man, oh man, the Dodgers... It's tough this year watching this one. It, it really is, you know. Justin Turner got hurt tonight. Um, It's okay, buddy. My dog's in the back. You guys can't see her, but now you will. Boom, there she is. But anyway, it's been a tough... This NLCS is tough, man. The Braves are literally kicking our butts. And they're playing very, 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 very good baseball. And... Tonight, man, honestly, with the Braves throwing a bullpen game, I thought it'd be an easy game. But unfortunately, it wasn't. They shut down the Dodgers. The Braves' bullpen only gave up two runs. Two runs, man, as the Braves' offense destroyed Julio Reyes and the Dodgers. We're down 3-1, to one, and now we're down a third baseman, and we have an injury on our team. Coco, it's all right. Will we bring up a position player or will we bring in another arm? Honestly, I feel like the Dodgers, it's time to call another arm up who can be a starter to help us out. Um, Tomorrow's game five, we're facing elimination. That's when the Dodgers, I feel like, are at their best. But the Braves, man, I got to give credit where it's due. The Braves have been playing fantastic, amazing, lights out, dangerously. They're, they're playing great baseball. And at the end of the day, hey, it's all right, buddy. She'll be back. At the end of the day, it's not going to be easy to come back from, from this series like it was last year. And the Braves tomorrow can close it out at Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers have a bullpen game going. The Braves have Max Freed. And tonight, Julio Reyes, I want to talk about Julio really quick. Tonight showed... Why Dave Roberts managing has been poorly in this world, I'm not in World Series, in this postseason. Tonight showed that you cannot be making Scherzer and Julio come out of the bullpen and act like they're bullpen arms. Uh, Max Scherzer struggled. I feel like in game two, there's just some person running. Yes. Interesting. Max Scherzer struggled in game two against the Braves and got pulled out early because he said his arm was tired. Julio Rios pitched that game too and and that gave him game five of the NLDS. He pitched game two of the NLCS an inning, but that could change a whole start. Last year, Julio Rios, yes, fine, he's coming out of the bullpen. But last year's Julio Rios was kind of flipped to starter to bullpen to starter to bullpen. This year's Julio Rios has been a starter all year long. This ain't a 60-game season, Dave. This is a 162-plus postseason. It's not easy. It's it's probably harder for Julio Rios to do that this year. Coco, it's okay. And, and tonight showed. You know, tonight really showed that you got to, if you're Dave Roberts, you got to stop doing this to Julio and Max Scherzer if we somehow come back and win this series. I like our chances if we win tomorrow because then we got Scherzer game six and Walker Buehler game seven. Not going to be easy, but I like the chances if we win tomorrow's game. Um, But the Braves, man, they're playing fantastic. They're Like I said, they're lights out. They're playing amazing. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, man. The Braves absolutely dominated the Dodgers tonight. Made us look like we didn't even belong in the postseason. And I feel like they've done that all series long. Last year, for they had the Dodgers in a 3-1 hole. The Dodgers came back. This year, it's going to be a lot harder because there's a lot more people out from last year's roster on this year's roster. Like Kike Hernandez ain't there. Jock Peterson, he's on the Braves. Dustin Mays hurt. Justin Turner's now hurt. Um, Victor Gonzalez is hurt. Like, but... I cannot compare to this year's I cannot compare this year's team to last year's team. Maybe this year's team will figure a way out, but we'll see. 
Um, like I said, the Braves have been lights out, and a lot of their players this year have been reminding me of the 2020 Dodger. Eddie Rosario, the, the 2020 Dodgers. Eddie Rosario, he's reminding me of last year's NLCS and World Series MVP, Corey Seager. He's absolutely seeing the ball well. He's hitting it every single time. He's getting hits. He's hitting homers. He's getting on base. He's doing what he needs to do to help the Braves out. Adam Duvall making big defensive plays. Like tonight, Rob and Gavin Lux of a hit or a double or a triple at least wasn't gone. I don't I don't think it was gone. Maybe it could have been, but I doubt it was. I'm pretty sure it was going to be off the top of the wall. He he robbed a hit from Lux, and then he had a big swing, just like Mookie Betts did last year in the postseason for the Dodgers. Tomorrow's not going to be easy. Tomorrow, the Braves have a really good chance of ending it all at Dodger Stadium and ending this NLCS to move on to the World Series. I believe in this Dodgers team, but it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to play well tomorrow and then go to Atlanta and hopefully Max Scherzer gives us seven, Beeler would give us seven, and the Dodgers offense comes al would come alive and help the team out. I will say one thing what's smart about the Braves is that the Dodgers struggle against lefties, and that's all the Braves are throwing at the Dodgers. It's smart. Max Fried is on the mound tomorrow, a lefty. And the Braves have a great chance of ending it. This I feel like this is their best chance, in my opinion, to end it because the Dodgers struggle against lefties. But if the Dodgers get to see Ian Anderson or Charlie Morton, it might be a different story. So as a Braves fan and I feel like tomorrow you need Max Fried to end it. As a Dodgers fan, we need the offense to be hot. We need the bullpen to pitch a fantastic game, just like the Braves bullpen. And then we need to focus on game six. But tomorrow we got to focus on tomorrow's game. Hopefully we, ex hopefully you, hopefully we extend the, s sorry, I'm, I'm currently like waiting for somebody. And like I'm in a parking lot and there's like some weird people walking around. But anyway. Um, besides the point of the parking lot, we need to focus on tomorrow, hopefully pick up a win, go to ga game six, and uh, do what we need to do, force the game seven and win it. But it's not going to be easy. Um, the Braves are pretty much, right now, they're they're running to the World Series. They're not strolling. They're not walking. They're they're sprinting, and, and, they're, and they're really close to the finish line. Can the Dodgers somehow make... A comeback it's not gonna be easy but it's it's possible we've seen it before at the end of the day though the Braves won tonight's game and they have a good shot tomorrow of winning at Dodger Stadium and making the NLCS of 2021 be no longer a thing they have a good chance of tomorrow oh my god they have a good chance tomorrow to make the Dodgers go home. But the Dodgers with the elimination games have been at their best. But the Braves, like I said, they're on another level this year. And they're playing absolutely amazing. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I might come back with a sad face and a very disappointed result. Or I might come back with a happy face. And hopefully the Dodgers are going back to Atlanta. We'll see what happens. Uh, all I got to say is the Braves, they, they've earned, hopefully they've earned a lot of people's respect. And and they're showing that they're a hell of a ball club, and they deserve to be here. The only like disappointing part I feel, in my opinion, in this series is, is that there's no Ronald Acuna Jr. Like it, that's kind of depressing to me, just because he's a beast and he deserves to be here with the Braves. But unfortunately, earlier in Miami this year, you know, we, he tore his ACL, I think, which took him out of the took him out of the season for the Braves but maybe that injury is gonna pay off for the Braves because they got Jack Peterson and Eddie Rosario so we'll see what happens hopefully the Dodgers win tomorrow and somehow force this series to go back to Atlanta and hopefully we make a big comeback like I said the Braves are looking good though it's not gonna be easy and hopefully they get the hopefully the Dodgers get the job done and come back and move on to the World Series like I said it's not gonna be easy Braves have been playing great so I'll see you all tomorrow. Like, comment, and subscribe.
Brave fans, I bet you guys are feeling on like feeling amazing right now. And as a Dodger fan, man, this this series has been tough, but I still believe in the team. And hopefully, like I said, somehow we win this series. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Um will the will the Braves fans be chopping on tomorrow? Or will the Dodgers be moving this game to Atlanta?